first, like, math is difficult. Math is really difficult. I think it's the most difficult lecture, like, kind of science to learn. Everyone is frustrated. So, uh, it doesn't make sense to take something like easy math course or do something easy. Why? Because you're truly going to learn something if you're going to be challenged. To be honest, I'm struggling with my classes right now. But it's not like struggle, oh, I'm stupid, I cannot do this. It's more like I'm struggle and I got motivated to resolve this issue. You know? like to, I don't understand some problem, I don't understand some concept. And I want to make sure, and I want to force myself to understand it, to see what's going on behind this concept. I would say like in terms of frustration, I definitely felt that during the summer when I took my analysis class because I felt like every time I did a new proof it felt like I was redoing a new puzzle compared to when I was usually doing math where I really was like you know doing similar types of problems where I could practice s similar skills you know and that's something that I found that I got really frustrated because I didn't do so well on my quizzes I didn't do so well on the midterm and I felt it and you know that there is when you go into a midterm and then you come out and you just feel devastated I would say my favorite class would have to be either partial differential e equations or my current class, abstract linear algebra, just because I feel like both really play on a lot of the stuff that I learned in the past, i.e. differential equations and linear algebra, because I always found those parts of math super interesting and the fact that even though you learn the basics in those classes and even though you may like have understood them, like, yeah, I know my row multiplication and my row echelon form, like the way that you can apply those really expands a path so much than, than you initially expected. So that's pretty cool and I really enjoy that. Uh, it's difficult to say like to kind of separate math with your favorite topic. But in math you have two math like algebra and analysis and probability. And probability means like math finance and etc. But huge big topics algebra and analysis. And no, also we have a kind of jump, so we have like actual tree. Algebra, analysis, and geometry. And you either can play with analysis and geometry, so it means kind of differential geometry, for example. Or you can play with algebra and geometry, and you will get algebraic topology. So my favorite is play with algebra and topology. And to be more specific, I really like algebra classes. So upper division yes. abstract algebra classes, they're really interesting. Well, for example, like, oh, like this is algebra groups. So what is it like in algebra classes? By doing some algebraic structures, you can see what picture stands behind these algebraic structures, and it's super cool. In the now, so how I think about algebra, it's like when you disc when you're researching something, and you take a picture of this, and you look at this picture. So it's kind of algebra for me. But what is for me as analysis, when you go to that place and observing like this, uh, like happening with your own eyes. So me personally, I'm more like algebra. Uh, I love studying math. Another thing why I really like mathematics, uh, because uh, mathematics is everywhere. I feel like for math, I've, it's something that I've always was really interested at a young age, just because I always, like being able to quantify things, I, th I feel like it's been so powerful and so, you know, even though it's sure it's not the most intuitive thing at times, but once you learn it, it's such a powerful tool. And I really enjoy that, especially being able to solve problems that I never would have been able to before. I really enjoy the part of really applying math in a way so I can make not only my life easier, but also understand more complicated topics and hopefully solve real world problems, which I'm currently doing in, in research and stuff. So that's pretty cool too. How I think about math is the same as music. And when you're learning math, and somehow you're developing six sense of thinking about or feeling about something. So, and uh, this is kind of new level, new level of perception. So when you, that's why I choose math major. Why? Because in some sense, math for me is a piece of art. But, for example, if I want to go to enjoy some music, I won't just hear this music. Yeah. When I want to enjoy some painting, I'm going to see and like. Uh, see this painting and like be enjoyed by it, like how it's beautiful. If I want to enjoy dance, so every time if I want to enjoy some piece of art that made by human, I can just go see and perceive with all my fifth senses. But if I want to enjoy the art of math, 
I need to learn this new language. And the most difficult part is to get used to this language, but when you trust, when you get used to this language, and you will start to see all these pictures and all this kind of art by using the sixth sense. Oh my gosh, it's any other like that's is that somehow why you if you look at mathematicians they're all kind of crazy and they you know like weird. Why? Because they so got engaged with this piece of art that they forgot about reality completely. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep a balance here. Yeah.